Hi, I'm Jim Downing, and I'm here to tell you about our winter issue. We've got a bunch of good stuff in this one, from drones to immigration to threats to the citrus industry. First, drones. The article covers the different types of drones, what kind of sensors they can carry, and how researchers are using them in agriculture and natural resources, from detecting patches of weeds in cattle pastures, to identifying water stress in almond orchards, to figuring out how the ice sheet in Greenland is melting. Next up, immigration and farm labor. We have a nice article on California's farm labor supply by UC Davis's Philip Martin and a team at the State Employment Development Department. We also have a very timely outlook piece from Professor Martin in which he covers U.S. immigration policy over the past decade and gives his assessment of how things are likely to play out under the Trump administration. Finally, California citrus. We look at efforts at UC Riverside and UC ANR's Lynn Cove Research and Extension Center to develop citrus trees that are resistant to Wong Long Bing disease, or HLB. Now this is a disease that has cut citrus production in Florida literally in half. It hasn't shown up in commercial groves in California yet, but its arrival looks to be imminent. Plant breeders like UC Riverside's Michael Ruse are working hard to develop citrus varieties resistant to HLB. Now one promising avenue has to do with three old trees that were planted in the early 1980s at Lynn Cove and then basically forgotten. They're crosses of commercial citrus varieties with a wild desert lime from Australia. That desert lime is from a genus of trees that appear to be genetically resistant to HLB. What's great is that these old trees at Lynn Cove are mature enough to be used right now for breeding with commercial citrus varieties. It's a great piece about how plant breeding works and how old experiments can be unexpectedly fruitful. So that's a taste of what's in the issue. Thanks again for watching. And again, I'm Jim Downing.